hello guys welcome back in this video I'm going to show you how to export your connections and import your connections the same way so here I have two connections local DB and SQL plus so I'm going to export these connections and uh, import these connections back okay so for this you need to click on the Oracle connections very on the very top right click and you have export connections so you, you here you'll have like number of connections listed here so I just want to export these two connections next and uh, I'm going to uh, browse into the location where I'm going to save this okay so I'll just save it in the documents or home anywhere so in desktop I'll just write I'll just create a new folder and say SQL connections Okay. and by default the connections are saved in JSON file so just I'm going to give it like connections save it next and make sure you are going to encrypt this connection so you can clearly see here if you are encrypting this connections you give it a password so that you, if, you're, if your connections are lost or uh, misstated in any way if there is no encryption key for that then the connections won't open so if you only want to give the connection stream then simply remove the passwords for the connections you would like to give and just uh, save it but for now I'm going to encrypt this connection just making like one two three four five the password one two three four five just click on next and this is the location I'm going to save it it's desktop okay uh, it's one drive desktop SQL something okay finish it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these two connections to make sure you guys understand very clear so delete this connection now I'm going to import the same connections of so just for an example just think this is some new PC and I'm going to import those connections to my uh, SQL developer just right click on your connections import connections just browse so we have saved in desktop so it should be SQL connections folder so you have the connections JSON file which we just saved it click open click next so it's asking for the encrypted password I uh, encrypted key so for this I have just kept the password one two three four five and just click next and just select whatever the connections you wanted click next and finish that's it now just try to open this you will see all your tables and connections open properly without any problem so this is the way how you can export and input your connection guys in SQL developer thank you guys thank you for watching if you like please leave a like and subscribe thank you very much bye